That was weird. Then again, my computer is really fucked up. Yeah. It's on its deathbed. At the very least, the the first thing, the first most commendable thing about this entire game so far is that it's challenging stereotypes by having the four eyes kid be a bad student. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. That's, that's the only props I can give them so far. Everything else has been off. Please don't tell me my pig sound came through. Your pig sound? Oh. I, I, breathed, I breathed in and it sounded like a snort for a pig would make. Oh no, I didn't hear. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't hear your, your, uh, your, your, your snorting. Oh, really? I'm going home. <laughs> oh, so this is even your room. Yeah, this is, the, this is someone else's house. Yeah. Hold on. Let's just take another break. After that, I promise we'll study, okay? What you, how long has this been? <laughs> I know we've been streaming for over an hour. When we came in here, the skies was blue, now it's orange. Yeah. Let's take our break, though. This, this, yes, take an hour's break. We're not going to study. Alright, one last story. We all will do. <laughs> Why is it smaller fonts? We all pull down together, bitch. He okay. This guy is fuckable. <laughs> There's something about him. I realize I can hear you, right? <laughs> A double game, which literally means walking double is basically the phenomenon where you or someone else witnesses your double. I'm sure you've heard of it. Sure, who hasn't? <laughs> You're just gonna stand here? Yeah. <laughs> okay then, do you know what happens if you ever meet your doppelganger? According to one game I play, you fuck. You good, Bright? Mm -hmm. I'm just testing to see if it's actually... Yeah, it's streaming. Your doppelganger kills you, right? Anything else? I heard they fuck. <laughs> if your doppelganger dies first, you'll die under similar circumstances. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know much about doppelganger myths. Oh, so you're dead immediately. away. Don't put it like that, dude. I'm tired of this guy saying meat. <laughs> Did you also know that... Oh, wait, no. Did you also know that double gamers aren't entirely fictional? I'm sure we've all come across something similar in our lives already. What they mean? Oh yes, I've I fucked many versions of myself in video game. Am I a drag on this conversation? With <laughs> It's just the old said matter of fact. Wins. Mm-hmm. Wins. In TV shows and comics, twins often find themselves in such a situation, right? Mm. Just like real doppelgangers. What? Is he saying the twins? Oh, we're in part two. Part wow. two already? Doppelganger. Is this... I'm sorry, is this game just going to be us sitting in this room telling spooky stories back and forth? I hope not. 
Also, why is Doppel highlighted, but Ganger is not? Because they want you to focus on the Doppel and not on the Ganger. Because Ganger might remind you of Gangbanger. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, there's so many shades of purple. <laughs> the main characters in my story are twins. A boy and a girl. Even though they were fraternal, fraternal twins, they looked nearly identical. As if they were gangers. The little boy had feminine features, and the typical signs of beauty didn't show. Okay. <laughs> Chew, if I met a doppelganger, I don't know if I would try to kill them. Make plots with them to mess with people, or do not so family friendly things with them. Uh, you cut out there. What did you, what did Chew say? Or do not family friendly things with them. Ah, Fair. so Chu would fuck him. That's it. Chu will fuck him. <laughs> Chu's gonna... gonna get mad at us. Uh... <laughs> I am going to refresh the Twitch page. Okay. Yeah, because it did crash and then brought back yeah. for some reason. If he had put on the same clothes as his twin. People would have definitely mistaken them for sisters. All too often, boys who look like girls end up getting bullied. Bullied. I mean, okay, yeah, that's that's true. We don't have very, we don't have healthy standards around gender roles and gender expression. And most people are into that type of people. Then they get hit on a lot. Well, they might also get bullied in a different way. Chu uh. <laughs> says, actually, nah, I'm not fuckable. I would likely do the second option and then the first option once I got bored of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, put it this way, Chu. All of the people who want to fuck you think you're fuckable. Which also means that they would like your doppelganger. So you could have a weird sort of threesome. So, oh. <laughs> but not in the little brother's case. His big sister was... That's not an O. This is so, zero. zero? What the... Uh, that's a zero. Wait, then... Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, Chu. Are you saying that... Several people in your life don't consider you fuckable because I feel like I can list some. Oh god, the fucking lag. Let's see. Did, well, what, how about we start with Momo, the guy who has literally told you that he is willing to go meet you to fuck you? Um, I believe Dix. I believe Lilith. Of course, there's Asher. <laughs> Anyway, but not in the little brother's case. His big sister was extremely protective, and if anyone was mean to her little brother, she would, she was quick to bully that person back. I am quite certain that all of those is false. Chew, <laughs> chew, chew. Wise words have once been said, you are your own worst critic. There are people all around you that find you fuckable. An eye for an eye. An eye? An eye for an eye. An eye for an eye. Wrong. No, Chew. You will accept the fact that people like you. But so the twins operated. Under his sister's protection, the little brother never felt insecure about his femininity. I mean, I can... Hey, Bright, do you want to message uh, Momo and or Ash and have them come into 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 chat to 
whip the whip the chew into shape. <laughs> I'm going to tell Momo and Ashes that Chu is saying they're not fuckable. Chu says don't. I mean it. <laughs> oh wait, Asher had a rough day at work today, so don't don't bother Ash. All right, I sent it to Momo. Momo's fair game. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> 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 Is, but let's uh, 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 mm, femininity. I just realized something. What if these this doppelganger story and the cannibal boys story are actually connected? Come to think of it, the the boys silhouette looks almost identical to the cannibal boys silhouette. Yeah, which is which means that they're both the same age. Oh no, I mean the hair. Oh yeah. No, I meant like so. Maybe I yeah. don't know. We'll see. All right. But he became very dependent on his big sister. Meanwhile, the big sister always needed someone to rely on her to uphold her self-esteem, and she grew to be quite passive-aggressive. If her brother ever failed to notice something that she did for him, she would get overly frustrated and ignore him for days on end. That ain't healthy. No. I... I... <laughs> adorable is this. Is he into her? Albert, you need better standards. That ain't good. Bottling up your emotions like that ain't good, fam. Adorable, isn't she? <laughs> I guess maybe he's perceiving her as a brat or something. Mm -hmm. Chu, would you like to give your brat? It, would you like to give your brat take on this information? <laughs> <laughs> Shush. But regardless of all that, the twins were very close, almost as if it was only the two of them in the own little world. That is, until the big sister met God. <laughs> A certain handsome boy. Am I the handsome boy? Oh. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh yeah. It happened. It happened this past spring. The twins were both taking intro to philosophy at the time. One day, they were discussing animal rights in class, and the professor asked whether it was okay for people to eat cats and dogs. The answer, my, my answer for, is that professor a moron or something? What's there to think about? You eat an adorable fur baby today. You might as well eat the baby tomorrow. Wow, that is awful reasoning. Yeah. I was simply going to say there is no logical uh there there is no logical disconnect between someone who's willing to eat a pig and someone who's willing to eat a dog besides personal preferences. Uh this is not to say that like, someone is inherently bad for having done either, but the moral implications are virtually identical. So if someone's fine with eating pigs, and is not fine with eating dogs, assuming that there's not, like, some abuse happening in the process, which there almost always is for both cases, mm -hmm. it's literally just a matter of personal preference. Which animal do you feel more attached to? You probably feel more attached to the dog, but... No. Meh. Veganism! Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Could you just let me finish my story, please? Yes, please shut up, dude. Sorry. I just really love animals. Do you love the cow you eat? <laughs> Unless... Uh, okay. Unless this guy is actually a vegan. Or a vegetarian. Okay. Or a furry. That'd be fair. 
Well, there's furries that still eat me. <laughs> but yes, he could also be a furry. That is possible. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there is like a disproportionate amount of furries that happen to be uh, glasses wearing twinks, but that might just be my perceptions. Anyway, let's go ahead. There you go. You gotta reach your lines. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> there was the handsome guy who usually sat in the corner and rarely talked, but that day he raised his hand and spoke. So we can eat chickens, pigs, and cattle, but not cats or dogs? That seems awfully inconsistent to me. There you go, there you go, smart guy. He's gonna be a murderer, isn't he? <laughs> Yelling this argument, this argument, the little brother had a response. People don't love things equally. That's just human. I think that kind of inconsistency is excusable. That's... Okay, so your argument... <laughs> your argument within a philosophy context to address the inconsistency in people is... Eh, it's human nature to be fucking stupid. <laughs> why can't everyone just be kind of stupid? I don't see why people have to think. I don't... Oh, wait, is this the kid, or...? I think the kid. I don't normally eat animal meat. That's just a personal choice. If a dog or a cat lover still chooses to eat other kinds of meat, I don't think that's any less consistent than my preferences. The two, the two went at it, and the support was split in the class. As class ended, the professor praised both for their well-constructed arguments. Bro, you're, you're, bro, bro, ti tiny, tiny twink boy. Your, your argument was humans are dumb. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> the big sister supported her brother's argument. Hmm. Okay. But she was also impressed by the handsome guy's logical persuasiveness and the articulate way he talked. Articulate. Uh -oh. Something's gonna happen. Hmm. What? Yeah? What's the matter, Bright? It looks like you are about to say something. This. You're talking about Gratin and Hands, aren't you? Great and Hans. Who are they? James, you really are so mean. <laughs> Chew, I mean, we are pretty stupid. <laughs> well, yeah, Chew, we are pretty stupid, that doesn't ex but that doesn't ex excuse stupidity. <laughs> like, like if, if stupidity excused someone doing something wrong... Then congratulations, we just justified pretty much every single abhorrel, immoral, awful action that's ever happened in humanity's history. Like, for instance, it's really stupid to want to kill people based upon a conspiracy theory about a certain group of people controlling the world. That's a really stupid thing to do, but if it's alright to say, we're pretty stupid, therefore it's fine for me to make decisions based upon my own stupidity... You come into some pretty yikesy territory. <laughs> <laughs> Volcano for the bad dumb people. <laughs> anyway. That was the best possible reaction response <laughs> to my rambling there. Good job, Jim. <laughs> Jims, you really are something. <laughs> Do you really not remember them? They were in our year, and you had classes with them. I mean, they'll use it, but not the way they want. <laughs> they majored in psychology as well. Brett and Jade, in particular, were very close. But half a year ago, the two of them disappeared. Oh, I fucking knew it. Well, yeah, obviously. This is, this is spooky game. Something bad's gonna happen. The question is... <laughs> did animal did did 
did the correct animal rights guy turn out to be PETA? <laughs> PETA man. If if that's the case, then we're going to call him PETA man. We have to be very careful to enunciate the T and the A at the end, because otherwise it can sound really wrong. PETA man. The, the superhero no one wants. PETA man. Going around to save animals, fuck the humans, Peter man. <laughs> we don't care about indigenous people, Peter man. <laughs> oh god. Uh, that needs clipped. That entire conversation needs clipped. Yeah. Anyway. What? Seriously? Look at my face. Jade. I thought Grant was your friend. Isn't it a little mean to gossip about your friend's disappearance? <laughs> Good response. Look at how sincere my eyes are. Are these the eyes of someone who gossips like that? I can't see your eyes. Your eyes are closed, sir. <laughs> sir. Sir, please open your eyes so we can measure your sincerity. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. I meant to ask, how long were you planning to stream? Till twelve, or or if we okay. actually end up beating the game, because like we already went through chapter one <laughs> easily. Yeah, like there's a chance that we get it before then. But I was just asking, is my mom's gonna need a rub, and that's that'd right. be a good time. So that works. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Hmm, how should I know? I'm not a telepath. I can't read your mind. <laughs> Open your eyes, bitch. Precisely, because Greed and I were so close, it makes sense that I want to figure out what really happened. Therefore, I started this story by talking about gup doppelgangers, duh. Isn't that right, James? Uh, I guess. <laughs> He's not very smart, is he? <laughs> no. I again, the most commendable part about this entire game so far is making the person with glasses Easily the stupidest and worst person in the room. Oh, wait, Jade's a one. Oh. Yeah, it says, what's going on here? Even if she really wants to know the truth, why would she want to talk about it now? What is Jade thinking? Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, so the person that I've been doing Russian voice for is a girl. Yep. Well, whatever, we did that. We did that with... I forgot the name we gave her, the, the, the rival in Pokemon. Oh, yeah, pneumonia. Pneumonia. Pneumonia, yeah. As time went on, Hans and the handsome guy clashed in heated debates over all kinds of issues. They became rivals and best friends. When the Student Association planned the big event, Hans formed a group with Greet. With Grete. Greta, Grete, and the handsome guy. And then Greta invited me, so the four of us ended up working together. That was really fun, but also super exhausting. After a successful event, Greta suggested going to an amusement park after class on Friday to celebrate. However, a professor suddenly decided that Hans and I were in charge of next best dish. Uh. We, need the, we needed the time to prepare, so only Greet and the handsome guy made it to the amusement park. And that's where something magical happened. Don't, if something bad happened, don't say it like that. And that's where something magical happened. This isn't Disneyland, bitch. <laughs> As soon as the two of them arrived at the park, it started drizzling romantic- Oh, okay, so it is actually like a positive thing, so it- Okay, then that's fair. It started drizzling romantically. <laughs> romantic rain, duh. They both had umbrellas. They acted like they didn't huddled under the- <laughs> They were suddenly so close. <laughs> How do you know this? She just said she didn't go. That's me. Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry. She just said she didn't go. How does she know all this? 
Oh, the <laughs> bright again. Somehow your character is the smartest person in the room. Okay. I just know. Okay, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Source. Wait, Source. Trust me, bro. <laughs> They stayed at the amusement park until it was dark. When they finally left, there was an amazing night view all around them. It was incredible. Yes. On a whim, Greek pulled out her phone and played her favorite song, Don't Fall For My BFF. <laughs> the handsome guy said, Well, I love this song too, and they had a great time talking about music. <laughs> They walked through the evening, humming songs together. They got so close that the backs of their hands accidentally touched. Sounds like a terrible fan fiction. This is... Yeah, this is just like all of the standard sh like... Uh, <laughs> not shonen, shoujo tropes. Just suddenly being mashed into a single scene. Look from hand-holding yeah. to lewd. <laughs> the, like, even as someone who likes shoujo and romance, this is just... For marriage? <laughs> this is a bit excessive. <laughs> and then... <laughs> they were pre-marital... They, they engaged in pre-marital sex by handle. <laughs> I'll protect... I'll prepare the stakes and firewood. No, Chu. Don't act like the church. Don't read too much into this, but are you interested in anyone at the moment? Oh, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> there are two! I think I might have feelings for! Really? Me too. I want to fuck your brother. <laughs> Is one of them here with you right now? What? Wait. It's it, needs, it, it needs to be clearer. We'll have some. Need to eat afterwards. I mean, there is a church of Chew, but then we'll have some. <laughs> yeah, it's you. Right. right? Oh, okay. That's, that's an admirable use of your time. That was the moment they confirmed they had feelings for each other. And then he fucked her brother. <laughs> but feelings is such a vague word. Great didn't realize she had an actual crush on the handsome guy until the day she invited him. <laughs> my hair tickled my elbow and startled me. <laughs> uh Infant die until the day she invited him and me to a movie. A movie that has not recommended. Hands! Oh, yeah, that movie was so good. It was. Especially when the girl finds out that the guy she secretly loves is her best friend. That was oh, pretty heartbreaking. Into her best friend. Oh, it was into her best friend. That was pretty heartbreaking. Huh? <laughs> her face! Oh. <laughs> so you've both seen the movie already? Uh, well, wait. Oh no. <laughs> How far into her best friend? God damn it, bookworm. <laughs> Bonk, bookworm. Uh, well. <laughs> I just happened to see it with a friend. I don't... I see. Greta recalled the handsome guy saying that there were two people he had feelings for. One was Greta. The other... 
must be the one he wanted the movie with. Thinking about it threw Greta into a jealous fit. That's when she realized that she'd fallen in love with the handsome guy. Wait, I just realized all girls in this game so far are flat chested. Based? I don't know. Right. <laughs> Tail bonk says chew. I mean, okay. Cha no challenging, challenging the norms. Yeah, no more games Fair with enough. big ass boobies. <laughs> Small titties rep. <laughs> what do I want, D cups? What do I want them now? <laughs> I want big bongos. <laughs> Gamers rise up. We have to have big titty goth babes in our video games again. <laughs> how am I surprising the least DJ? DJ? <laughs> that's not how this works. Oh, but you see, Chu, that's the thing. Er like, everyone everyone in our group is to some extent DJ, except, well, kind of, except for Jerry. Everyone's DJ. It's just that the rest of us aren't brats and don't try to downplay our degeneracy. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you are really fun to tease, because you do do all that. Yeah. From that moment on, she couldn't get get her head out of the clothes. Greta herself thought 20-year-old shouldn't act so love-stricken. At least we're talking about people of age this time. Oh, yeah. Which yeah, these are these are these are university years students. Like, they what'd both, you say? They both look really young for twenty years old. Well, that's anime. <laughs> but what could she do? She was totally obsessed. Greta went on several dates with the handsome guy, and was always remembered. Okay, real okay. quick. So, R Russian Lady McMahon boy, uh, knew these people. Why- why is she still just referring to him as handsome guy? <laughs> she fell more and more in love. Then finally, she decided to confess her feelings. As if holding hands in the rain did not count already. <laughs> Greta, I think we should just be friends. Oh no! Oh come on! Fuck I you! I want to, I want to fuck your brother. <laughs> oh no! Her face. I see. You falling for the other person there? Sorry, I should have realized how I felt sooner. I want to fuck your brother. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. Can you tell me who it is? Is it gonna be yonder eight shrub time? Is it gonna be? F it's either okay. It's either the brother or a person telling the story. Those are the only two options. Yeah. I can't say exactly, but it's someone close to you. Uh. Uh. Okay. We should just be friends. Those words started it all. He fucked her brother. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. Besides listening to music, Greta loved to cook. Every time she made steak, she invited me over to her place. The Saturday after she got rejected, Greta invited me over again. Normally we laughed and chatted through dinner, but that day, Greta didn't say a word. The atmosphere was unusually heavy. Hans was out with a friend too. The only sounds were that of cutting and chewing meat. Please stop. I'm tired of hearing the word meat. This doesn't sound good. I feel like there's something poisoned. Great stakes were... Well, I mean, it's the person telling the story. Yeah. And these two disappeared. Whenever she 
that the steaks were usually cooked medium, but that day they were rare. Whenever she cut a steak, you got to see bright red juice bleeding. Hey, do you think I'm some kind of an attention seeker? He fucked my bro- <laughs> <laughs> Later finally broke the silence, but started on a disturbing topic. How's that a disturbing topic? I'm not good with dealing with emotions. Shut the fuck up and listen to story. <laughs> What's wrong? What makes you say that? You know... How I told you my dad was very strict. When Hans was little, my dad would lock him up and... Ah! Uh, oh, it is the cannibal boy. Oh... I called it. On the balcony. I called that shit, bitch. I'm the one who pointed out that that it was the silhouette. Oh, yeah, but then I said it. At first, before you said the silhouette. Well, well, I'm going to sue you for copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> and she's the cannibal girl. <laughs> I'm a cannibal girl in a cannibal world. <laughs> one big cannibal family. Uh, Hans would knock on the window all night long, begging my dad to let him in. But every time I'd let Hans back in, my dad, like, my, dad, blah, blah, blah. my dad always found out next day and beat Hans up. It was all my fault. Uh, It was your dad who beat Hans up, not you. Yes! Oh my god, how is Albert the most reasonable person? <laughs> I know, but if I were Hans, I'd blame my sister's meddling for making my punishment that much worse. I yes, still can't... what is it, you? Right. <laughs> I swear to God in Christ in this heaven. Oh no. Never seen that again. That wasn't me! It what? Was, that was me. It was Hatchet. It was Hatchet. I'm a cannibal girl in a cannibal world. <laughs> Simpsons. Simpsons. I'm a cannibal girl in a cannibal world. I eat fascists more <laughs> fast. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. You do not pull. I ain't a D and D character, bitch. I make my own rolls. Head pat fails. <laughs> <laughs> I might look like I'm always doing stuff for Hans and others, but I only do it for the attention. Everyone knows, but they're just too nice to say it. I still crave... I still crave violence. Never... Whenever people think about you, if you would just mind your own business... Oh, wait. Is this her or... No, Russia? Cause, no, because her, her character didn't move. I think that's okay, how so it's Okay, so it's... So, no change? No, I think it's uh, Russian. Oh, okay. Whatever people think about you, if you would just mind your own business back when I broke my leg freshman year, I don't know how I would have gotten through. Yeah, it would make more sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, Some... move. Yeah. Sometimes, I think if I hadn't broken my leg, we wouldn't be such close friends. It was a kind of destiny, don't you think? Duh! I broke my leg, that's why friend he is. And someone used magic to make Russia not exist no more? Why did that happen suddenly? Also, where would we get our vodka then? I mean, there's other places that make vodka. Russia makes best vodka. 
How do you know? Have you tried all the vodkas? Yes. No, 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 we're not at... No, bookworm. Yes, I had the power. No. <laughs> uh. Uh. Besides, you'll need a telepath. How do you know that Hans or anyone else thinks you should mi mind your own business? Wait, seriously, what's what's wrong, Chu? Why'd you just say that randomly? Oh, I guess a Russian voice. Uh, uh Sorry, you always have to make me feel better. Don't say that. We're friends, aren't we? Jeez. She always did this. This sense. Oh my god! What the fuck? Bro! <laughs> they, they are so fucked. Jeez, she always did this. That sentimental bitch. Ha! Let's wish she had no friends. Huh? Every time she felt insecure, she never said anything. She just pushed us. She just pushed herself to the edge, but just, but still wanted everyone to notice. How could anyone stand that? <laughs> but that's what made her so appeal. Uh oh. What is that? I love seeing Greta riled up, and sometimes I'd invite Hans, but not her, right in front of her face. Or I'd ignore her birthday and say, oop, when was it again? A few days later? Oh god, oh god, Albert, no! I wish you guys could have seen her face. The poor thing was so adorable. Why? Why are you... <laughs> I don't like the fact that the fucking guy who just casually added essay to a story is being the rational one now. Yeah, everyone's just switching to being rational. Uh, you're such a psycho. <laughs> and Albert falls in the rankings of decent human. Yeah. Whoops, I got carried away. Let's get back on topic. Oh, God. Oh, Albert. <laughs> Or I guess Jade is their tech is the name in game. Yeah. So what's wrong? What's on your mind this time? It's the handsome. You don't even call him by his name. Is his name literally handsome guy? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Did his parents hate him that much? No, his name is Guy Fieri. No, he is not Guy Fieri. I have seen Guy Fieri, and he is not an anime dude. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Guy Ferrari. No, that that doesn't. <laughs> what the fuck? Remember God. one of us actually said Guy Ferrari instead of Guy Fieri. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the handsome guy. I thought he was interested in me, so I asked him out a bunch of times. It turns out he didn't like me after all. I must have been so annoying hanging around him like that. But I don't think you know what? He likes someone else already. Yeah, she's going yandere. Bruh. Oh, okay. Greta stabbed the steak hard with her knife, and red juice splattered across my face. Oh yeah, thanks. Oh, fuck. Okay, fuck you, game designer. Fucking fake us out like that. <laughs> uh. I love Bookman's message. Guy Fieri's kid, where Guy is the last name. Uh. Anyway. Oh. Oops. Oops. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Turn into Goofy. Uh, it's okay. No, I think this is the Russian guy. Uh, it's okay. You're the one who went to that movie with them, aren't you? Oh god. Oh god, girl. It's all your fault. Your fault, your fault, your fault. Oh god damn it. Oh your fault, your yeah, we we know. Move on. I know this sounds corny, but in that moment, I saw murder in her eyes. In that instant, she really meant to kill me. Just thinking about how many times Greta must have simulated in her head how she was going to push me down, down, mount my struggle. Point. What? <laughs> Oh, it's episode six of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Oh, no. Why are you bonking me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why am I being bonked? I wasn't even taking anything sexual about that. Not that time. Now that I think about it, oh, boy. But uh... That's it. <laughs> Thinking about how many. With her face like that, too. Just thinking about how many. Oh, sorry. I thought you were breaking f from the phrasing. No, I was breaking because what the fuck? Right. Just thinking about how many times Gleet must have. St I just about said stimulated. <laughs> God damn it. Thinking about how many times Greta must have simulated in her head how she was going to push me down, mount my struggling body, and thrust her knife into my face. Wait, that's her eyes. Oh. <laughs> I, I just can't. Okay, that's your eyes. Good, good to know. Wait, is this the first time she's opened her eyes? Yes, they're heavily cross-eyed. No, they're cock-eyed. They're going the opposite directions. Oh uh, yeah, the cock. <laughs> Are they okay? Can they see I don't straight? Think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's not be ableist. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what you just did? Oh, you fucking bitch! Log. I didn't hit any buttons. What the fuck? But she just stared at me, then bit her lower lip. Okay. She put the knife down with a trembling hand that never touched me once. Why, you? Why does it have to be you? If I hate you, I'll lose my... the only friend who listens to my problems. Oh, God, this is awful. It was like a bucket full of ice water thrown in my face. I felt robbed and delu- What the fuck? I felt- Did you want to die? <laughs> I felt robbed and disillusioned. Everyone in- Everyone in this game is fucking nutters. <laughs> I, what the fuck is wrong with these people? It has looked something- <laughs> Yes, my friend will finally kill me. This is what I've been waiting for my entire life. Yeah, censoring fuck when we've had when we've had essay in this game. Jesus Christ. It had looked so promising. But Greta still ruined the moment. But just like my dad. It's never your fault, is it? If I blame you, it's the it's like I'm the bad guy. What the no, no, your abusive father was the was the bad one. No, your abusive father was the bad one. Don't blame yourself, bitch. Also, don't listen to this bitch. <laughs> Perhaps to Greta, the villains in her life, who weren't quite evil enough, like her dad and me, were the worst. 
Oh, God damn it. I'll be right back. <sighs> Entertainment stream, uh, for Corman Hatchet. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got such a headache at this point. Everyone, like, <sighs> why is everyone in this story just fucking nutters? I don't get it. <laughs> Uh, how are, how are y'all, how are y'all doing in chat? And I'll again remind y'all that there is a chance that I won't see messages because my thing keeps doing the welcome to chat room thing. Connecting to chat. Yeah. Did it again. Asher and I are going to hang out after I finish these matches and do the dishes. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm trying to hurry through them. Yeah, that's fair. Well, if you're trying to hurry through them, why are you taking the time to type to me? Small mouth. Which also means no stream tonight. Fair. Takes time to queue up. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, fair, fair. Uh, for some reason, my Xbox has been unable to connect to Bethesda.net all fucking day while I've been trying to play Skyrim. It's like, no, you're not gonna connect it to, to the website so that you can change your mods. We, how could how could we do that for you? Uh, and like I looked it up, and it doesn't seem like there's any outages. Disconnected from chat, connected to chat, welcome to chat. Fucking, I don't get why this happens. It doesn't even stop happening if I turn off my VPN. It just keeps happening. For no good reason. I'm gonna try turning off the VPN, but... How are you doing, Bookworm? How are you doing over there? And to, welcome, to, welcome to chat room. Uh, I don't know why Opera does this to me. It's like it constantly disconnects and reconnects and chat. That's good to hear, book. How was how was your Christmas? This one's goes go well. I gotta say, I do really miss having you on the server. It would have been awesome to have you up in full. 
family party last night, or yesterday. Yeah, I hope your Christmas was good. does seem to be, yeah, it feels good, and yeah, I'm still thinking on some stuff. That's fair. I don't mean to pressure you. Take all the time you need. Right. Hopefully it's now all out of my system. Oh. Yeah, you, you haven't, you haven't, you having the shits. I'll take it. Yeah, it's so, so, definitely something I ate. Cause I don't think shrimp causes explosive diarrhea. It, I mean, it can do a lot of weird shit, but, like, have you eaten anything odd today? <laughs> what have you um... eaten today? I had uh, two French bread pizzas, uh, a Caesar salad, uh, a hamburger and fries. Maybe the salad? Maybe. Or maybe it was the French. The French. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the game. The French people in your bread made you sick. That was a really dumb joke. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Perhaps the good. Oh, yeah. You can continue. She wanted to shift all of the blame on us, but she couldn't because we weren't completely at fault. That. We shouldn't see each other for a while. I need to be alone. As I listened to Greta's words, I told myself I had to be patient. Not yet. At least, not now. Greta is still just a bud. But sooner or later she'll flower and, s Come on. and secrete her sweet nectar. Is she into Why? Greta? I... I swear to God, the translators on this game were really ha were really having fun. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, bro. After a confrontation, Greta got visibly depressed and had trouble sleeping even an hour a day. And death. <laughs> Jade just wants chaos, I guess, and death. Yeah, Jade really did want her friend to stab her. Oh fuck, this song was literally foreshadowing. Uh, every time she got the song, Don't Fall From My BF in her head, she couldn't stop the sadness welling up inside of her. We didn't pick up on that. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. But not me. Why her? Why don't you want my love? Why do you want hers? These thoughts continue to haunt Greta. Little did she know, I had nothing to do with it. It was her brother fucking <laughs> It was fucking her brother. It all started and ended so quickly that Greta couldn't take it. And now that it has ended, time was so slow that Greta couldn't take it. But, okay. I, okay. She just wanted to go back before any of it had happened. And perhaps she would only have had fun memories. Meanwhile, Hans knew that something wasn't right and asked Greta what had happened. 
but she refused to say anything. If you really understood me, I shouldn't have to explain. Your your brother is not a psychic. Tell him. Tell him your issues. <laughs> Healthy communication is key. You just know what I'm going through. I guess no one in this world understands me after all. Girl. Hans didn't even know that Greta was in love. How could he have con comforted her? But he didn't give up. Even if Greta doesn't want to talk to me, I oh wait. Even if Greta doesn't want to talk to me, I want to be there for her anyway. And it worked surprisingly well. Greta, this. T <coughs> they died. It was poison. <laughs> <laughs> that needs quite. <laughs> oh god Greta the, st the steaks you make are delicious Can you teach me how to cook them? I want to learn And the Russian boy <laughs> Really? Well Of course I'd be happy to That surprise look on her face just always looks so adorable Yeah with Hans by her side, Greta finally started feeling better. Greta's heartbreak was a blessing in disguise. Greta may have gotten rejected, but she got that much closer with her dear brother Hans. Um, it's a good story, but wasn't this supposed to be an urban legend? What about the doppelgangers? Who said I- who said I was done? You really can't this bright for blowing us- Come on! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we need- We- <laughs> This is my new favorite image of all time. <laughs> Sassy flick of the wrist. <laughs> well- who said I was done? You really can't this bright for blowing her load too early. Bright being a Futanari confirmed? I mean, I guess. That's not going- that's not canon. <laughs> I mean, depends on the definition of Futa. But sometimes Futa is used to describe trans women that still have the member. Hey, if Greta refused to say anything, how do you know she had sleeping problems? What kind of thoughts haunted her? Or what kind of interaction she had with Hans? Listen to yourself. And you accuse me. And you accuse me of sexing my stuff. You... Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so Russian Jade Lady is at... Oh my god. Is adding embellished details. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me? No, they didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I just don't think Jade, Jade fabricated anything. I think it's what actually happened. Well, Bright, you understand me better than my own pet. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the lie, though? Yeah. That's really common. Like, your friends understand you better than your parents, and it's sad. Yeah, give me a second.
big sinus issues. Uh, you have butt issues, I have nose issues. You know what, while we're still in waiting, uh, I'll say my New wait. Year's revolution. Wait, waiting? I was about to continue. I'm doing it anyway. New Year's resolution. I said revolution first. New Year's revolution. New Year's revolution. Everyone rise <laughs> up. Get, rise up, gamers. It's the New Year re revolution. A New Year's resolution is to hopefully get a better computer. Alright. That's fair. Because my computer's on its deathbed. <laughs> That's a really horribly phrased New Year's resolution, but you go, girl. I mean, I want to get a better computer, because... Oh, yeah, but... Yeah. The way you phrased it wasn't much of a resolution. It's just like, I'd really like this thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, my New Year's resolution is to try and work harder to get a better computer. There we go. That's a bit better. I will work harder under the oppressive thumb of capitalism so that I can acquire a not-destroying-itself computer. Now that's a resolution. <laughs> anyway. What? Right. You're actually such. You're usually such. Wait, that's wrong voice. Yeah. What? Right. You're usually such a skeptic. Has Jade put you under a spell or something? Do I need to wake you up? How are you going to wake Bright up? With a baseball bat. <laughs> That's not going to help against a giant Terminator robot. I'm not sure, but I get the feeling that Jade still has a Joker up her sleeve. There's no good reason for her to make up such little details. Mom says, I will work until I break until I get a new computer. <laughs> I will work until I break until I get a new computer. Yeah, yeah that's a resolution. Why so serious? <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, how much does she know? How much does she... Wait, how much does she know? How does she know? What are her motives? That's the most important part. Her motives so far have been to be an absolute piece of shit. Yeah. Brian, you need to get better friends. Call me Brian. I said bright. Uh, did I? Yeah, you call me Brian. <laughs> I did not mean to say Brian. I meant to say bright. My bad. <laughs> Hello, Brian. <laughs> okay, I gotta change my name real quick. No, no, bright. Uh, oh fuck. <laughs> I am now Brian. Oh, are you? Anyway, hatchet. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> anyway. One day, at the end of the semester, Greta and I stayed on campus until nightfall to finish off some essays. Then we headed home together. Or they might call her evil spirit in this game. On the way, I could tell Greta was holding something back. It was obvious, but she wanted... It was obvious that she wanted to tell me something, but she wanted me to take the initiative and ask her what was wrong. Like the devil. Uh, why are you such shit. a piece of shit? Why? Like a devil do that. <laughs> Show genuine emotion? Care about another human? Nah, I'm going to be a passive aggressive twat. <laughs> Stab me harder, baby. So we just kept walking. On and on. We had gotten to a park near the campus, where Greta finally opened her mouth. Wait, I just started thinking. You know how 
Hans has the same silhouette as the Campbell boy. What if those huh? two are the are the doppelgangers? Hmm. Because they had the same silhouette. That would. Wait, you mean like Hans you... and the Cannibal Boy are two different people? Hmm. That'd be interesting. But maybe. Yeah. But continue. Right. We've gotten. We've gotten to a park that. Darkness when Greta finally opened her mouth. That damn woman always talking to me. Jade, you're mad at me, aren't you? God. Huh? I got pissed that the guy I like fell for you, even though it wasn't your fault. I'm really sorry. It was such a shock. Greta was taking the initiative to make, make up with me. I mean, fuck. All I wanted was to see her emotions explode. What the fuck is wrong with all of the characters in the story? I don't know. Right, get better friends. But that was okay. I still had a joker left to play. Hey, forget about it. He they, fucked your brother, not me. It, it, they are now a New Yorker. It forget the it. <laughs> but I think you've misunderstood, Glad. Yep, yep. I pointed towards the park and Greta turned her head to the Oh god, wait, is my joke gonna be actually the case? Uh-oh. Yep, oh. yep, my joke was the case. <laughs> there, Hans was nuzzled up. There, Hans was nuzzled up against the handsome guy's chest, and the handsome guy's arms were around Hans' delicate shoulders. This wasn't a hug between friends. They were obviously making out. They aren't showing it. Yeah. Come on, dude. Make them kiss. I want them to kiss. <laughs> Her face. Bookworm. You see Bookworm in chat? Yeah. OMG. Amazing. So the gay actually did happen. We got him, fam. <laughs> I'm happy that the gay happened. I did go to that movie with him, but just as friends. We were clear about that. We were clear about that. Oh. Well, the one he's really into is someone close to you. Much closer than I am. God, why are you- Oh my god, you're such a piece of shit. Uh, oh uh, no. Oh, come to think of it. The last time I went to your place, wasn't Hans out with a friend? Yeah. I had kind of had that in the back of my head. Like, maybe this is... Uh... <laughs> So Greta is going to hate crime now. Oh, that's okay. You know what? That's actually an interesting question. Would this classify as a hate crime? Because like the fact that her brother's gay in this instance is a motivating factor because the brother stole a uh gonna be big homophobic. It's going to like stole her man away from her. But would her killing her brother in response to that be considered, like, a hate crime if her main reason for doing it was a crime of passion rather than because he was gay? Mm. And I, I think it, I, I don't think it would be a hate crime. But that's also me being too much of a pedant. Let's continue. Who do you suppose the friend was? Oh, God damn it! Press the log, please. Who do you suppose the friend was? What did you think they did? Did they go to an amusement park with a beautiful night view? Did they make out like they're doing now? No, they fucked. Did they fuck in the trampoline? <laughs> trampoline? 
it's what the what am I thinking of? I always wield, but they fuck in the trail in the fit. <laughs> I'm just imagining they're, they're fucking but bouncing in the air at the same time. <laughs> I feel like that would be a fucking comedy show. Yeah. Half the people there are wanking it, the other half are fucking laughing their asses off. <laughs> Or was it even hotter? More steamy? God, why is this- why is she such a bitch? Why- oh my god, I hate Jade. Can- can both- both Jade and the other dickhead just fucking walk off a cliff? Please. Hans. You. You. Turn wholesome. Turn wholesome. Say, Hans, you're gay! That's rad! Huh. Not quite convinced yet. Fine. Just listen to the lovebirds talk then. You love that amusement park way too much. Don't you ever get tired of it? Never, as long as it's with you. I'm having so much fun today. Thanks for asking me out. You've been looking down lately. I hope it would cheer you up. I hoped it would cheer you up. Well, Greta's been in a horrible mood lately, and she won't tell me what's wrong. I'm worried that she's met some playboy who's stringing her along. Oh no! Oh! Oh god! If anyone ever betrays Greta, I'll skim her. <laughs> what? Well, that's not something you say in casual conversation. Okay, so he is the cannibal boy. Got it. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Never mind. My theory. You're gonna is wrong. scare him off. <laughs> Silly boy. Little did you know that the one betraying her right now is you, Hans. Oh God! Why are you such an awesome? Not awesome. Awful. God damn! My head hurts. Eh. Playboy, where did that come from? I ask you out, and all you can think about is your sister. Oh no. Greta will always be my number one. You're number two at best. That some sister complex you've got. Did Greta despoil you when you were little? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. But my sister was always nice to me, yeah. Isn't Hans just the sweetest? Even during his date, he was thinking about Greta. But to Greta, his words only made her feel like Hans was using her to make himself look good. Hans gonna eat his own flesh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said before, my dad used to beat me up when I was. <laughs> this is literally just the shirt from last night. Wait, did you ever see that shirt design? I don't, oh yeah, they did. Yeah, the the I was they beaten by my parents. Were they there? Yes. I thought she wasn't in there at the time. No, Chu saw the sh saw the shirt. They said it would probably be a bad, a bad idea to <laughs> merchandise it. Oh yeah. Well, no, wait. That's the thing. Like that happened way later, and you specifically mentioned that my parents beat me. I I'm confident Chu wasn't in the room at the time. No, I remember Chu reacting to it. Uh, anyway. But anyway, yeah. Greta didn't want me to be the... Oh, what? Greta didn't want me to be the only one to get punished, so she'd always try to help me out, and she would get beaten up together. That... That's how much she cared about me. But me... All I did was cry and let Greta console me, forcing her to say she was fine. You can't blame yourself. It was all your dad's fault. It was all your dad's fault. True. 
No, it wasn't my dad's back. No, no, that's no. God damn it! Just because uh, someone's actions are their own, even if there's underlying causes. Why is everyone here stupid? Stop blaming yourself for the actions of others. Back when our mom was around, he was really, really nice. Everyone get therapy, please. Yes, bookwork. Exactly. Seek therapy. Um, my dad's not the one to blame. It was all because of the... Uh, oh god, he is the cannibal boy. Evil spirit, yeah. It was all because of the evil spirit. What? <laughs> That's the most reasonable reaction in this entire story so far. What? <laughs> I knew that once I exercised the evil spirit, my dad would be back to being nice again. Bro, I hope you haven't sticked your dick in him yet, because the old boy, don't stick your dick in crazy. Oops, did I say something weird? Uh, what I mean was, my dad was possessed by the ghost of his past. Uh, okay. So, you don't mean an actual evil spirit. You had me, you had me worried for a moment there. I hear jelly beans. Oh no, it's not jelly beans, it's new candy. Sour uh. Patch Kids Coal. Coal? Yeah, they made it for Christmas, they made coal, which is a different flavor, I think grape. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry, but let's not talk about that anymore. I'm sorry, reminded you of such horrible memories. It's fine. <laughs> hey, by the way. Griffith just said she's hanging out with Jade tomorrow and won't be back until night. How about coming over in the morning? Griffith taught me a secret recipe. Oh, damn. Damn, girl. Your eyes look as hollow as a barrel-eyed fish, girl. <laughs> oh, God, why? Why, Jay? She it's always someone shit. named Jade. It's always a Jade. You know what's actually fucked up? We have a friend that's named Jade. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you were gone, oh, didn't you? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. No, Jade, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you hear this, I don't mean you. You're cool. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> What a masterpiece. Emotional torment. When I was in the lowest of my lows, you had to, you had the gall to pester me to teach you how to cook. And it wasn't even for my sake. It was to seduce him. Oh, wait. No, that's her. That's her saying. Oh, yeah. That's what was raging through Greta's mind. I know because I heard it. Are you psychic? Maybe. Wait. Are you actually psychic? Is that where the story's going? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'd love to go, but I'm not a big fan of vegetarian meals. Vegetarian? Why vegetarian? Uh, I thought... Huh? I thought you were a vegetarian, Hans. What? No, I'm not. I just don't eat regular meat. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian, silly. <laughs> but that time you criticized my argument in class, I thought you said you didn't eat meat because you're so you're a vegetarian. Are you just a picky eater? Oh god, he wants to eat it. What the fuck? And what kind of meat do you prefer? Could it be the kind I'm thinking about? Oh no, 
No, don't put... No, really. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't stick your dick in pray. pray. It's very not... Oh, come on. Um, <laughs> this is... <laughs> What's worse is one of them looks really young, but we know that... But we know their age. <laughs> yeah, like, they're, they're the right age, but, uh... <laughs> It, 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 my brain isn't even on that. It's just, it's just all of this. Yeah. Where is it okay to tell your partner you're a cannibal? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like the context of, I'll eat you up. Wait, that means that her si the sister's also a cannibal. If he's a cannibal. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. That hasn't been hinted at. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God! <laughs> Someone's a horny boy. <laughs> Go on, Ashley. Just, keep reading. Just listen to your dirty talk. What would your sister think if she heard? Oh, she did hear. She was very angry. <laughs> Then they kissed right there in front of us. Oh. <laughs> you get to see the kiss? Of course. Greta and I were the only other ones there. But it was quite the same. The two lovers had no idea we were there. It made our passion to believe for my own. Be careful on your way home. Don't get eaten by the cannibal boy. Okay, so they are two separate people. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. At this point, the story's so all over the place. I'm more worried about you. Do you want me to walk you home? No, thanks. I can take care of myself, you know. Okay, but be careful, too. Remember... I'll be waiting tomorrow. Don't be late. You don't miss out on the meat. Uh. I thought Greta might do something, but she just walked away without saying a word. Maybe she was too angry to do anything. But I could see the bud of her rage growing larger and redder. <laughs> Greta was about to bloom. And st <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? Never mind. I am saying it. It was about to bloom and secrete her sweet, sweet nectar. <laughs> uh, the next morning, the handsome guy arrived at Han's place on an empty stomach. There he found the table lined with meat dishes. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. This is bad. Everything's bad. Sweet and sour pork, pork belly stew, smoked sausage, steak salad, all the s all sorts of dishes. The main dish was Greta's special steak, cooked red just like the other time. Wow, what a feast. Sorry, I actually I accidentally got too many ingredients. Silly me. Considering how early in the morning you had to come, I was afraid you'd be eaten. <laughs> this is not something that is normal for standard conversation. <laughs> I swear, if his next words were... I don't mind being eaten by you, though. I swear to fuck. That's, that's how, yeah, that. how long until this devolves into gay fan fiction? Because I'm fine with it. I'm just like... <laughs> he's just a man-eater. No need to fear him. <laughs> there are plenty of vampires in the world. They suck the blood of the poor bit by bit. Just to make their own lives more luxurious. But we just look the other... Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Fucking own them. He's referring to the capitalists. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
He's just like casual. I want this guy. Can I have this guy? No. Please? Can I? Unless this guy dies, this guy might die. But otherwise, I want him. Unlike those vampires among us, at least the cannibal boy <laughs> kills you on the spot and you die without suffering. If I had to choose, I'd go the quicker death. I mean, that's fair. I'd rather die quickly than slowly. <laughs> yeah. Bookworm. <laughs> Better get him quick before he dies. Yeah, Bright, give him to me now. Use your powers. Besides, the cannibal boy treats humans just like any any other edible animal, so many people are quick to judge cat and dog lovers when they have no problem eating chicken, pork, or beef. Compared to those people who discriminate between animals, at the least, at least the cannibal boy is morally consistent. <laughs> he treats all living animals equally. <laughs> dude, what? Oh, God, <laughs> dude. Look at Hans. Uh, Bro, what kind of destiny logic is this? Fucking, as long as you're being consistent. <laughs> My guy making an argument for veganists. Yeah, like, as long as you're consistent. I don't care if you're an awful person. As long as you're consistent, that's all that matters. The vegan teacher would like this guy. No, no, she wouldn't. <laughs> I meant in another way, like, make videos about him. I don't know, whatever. <sighs> Sounds like flawed logic to me. Really? You want to talk about that over brunch? Eating cats, dogs, and humans, blah blah blah? James wouldn't f feel like eating if you were there, would you? Well, I'm not a freak like that. Oh no, is James about to be homophobic? Oh. James is about to be homophobic. But forget... But forget about moral consistency or abuse. In my opinion, it doesn't require complex beliefs or a tragic past for a human to eat. What? 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 What is this going... What is going on? This game is breaking magic. People talk about drooling over sexy bodies and refer to luscious breasts as melon. <laughs> <laughs> Those kinds of expressions are all over the place, don't you think? What the fuck? Yes, but they're metaphors, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Jade is just being Chew right now, true. Yeah. <laughs> and Chew's not even here to deny it. Plus, English, Chinese, and Japanese all use eating-related words to refer to sex. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> That's a long stretch away from actually killing and eating a person. Why is everyone in the story so fucking stupid? Except for the player character. Yeah, you're, you're literally just a neutral observer at this point. You're just sitting in a room with two fucking... Stupid monsters the while listening is, to all this shit. If, if I was actually in this room, like, me bright, I would be yeah. the most sane person. <laughs> uh, <sighs> is that why those are the only languages this game is in? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this game's only in... I, I'm guessing what those languages were were uh, English, Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, and Japanese. Yeah. So, yeah... We're so used to that kind of slang that we don't think twice about it. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps in the collective subconscious. Oh God, we're getting into fascist shit now. Collective subconscious eating is essentially a kind of possession, a kind of intimacy, just like having sex. Wait, how is uh, sex not blurred out? But fuck is. Because inconsistency. <laughs> Wait, also, Bookworm said, yeah, I looked it up, and those are the ones. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. So if eating is such an instinctive thing, do we need to ask why the cannibal boy eats humans? Do we really need to dig into what the tragic 
into a to dig into a tragic past he has what yes yes we do need to understand what causes people to cause harm to other people that's how we avoid more harm what the fuck people want to fabricate his past because they're convinced he's a freak and a monster must have a very twisted past he's not like us normal people okay so this is like Yes, people do this in group out group thing where they try to rationalize around someone being a not normal person. But that does not mean that we abandon the prospect of trying to understand why someone engages in harmful behavior. This is basically, you know what this is? This is dumb fuck liberal anarchism. This is the sort of anarchism that liberals think anarchists like. That, like, we should just all have no rules, everything goes, morality is subjective anyway, what's good for you may be good for me, but whatever, just go do it, man. That's not how this works. Ugh. Ugh. Do you even hear what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, oh, God. What I mean is, you don't eat cats or dogs. But not because you're an animal lover. Wait, no, that's the wrong voice. Or because you're civilized. Oh, wow, that's... Oh. That just got racist so fast. Wow. That, like... Uh... The thing is, this was written by a Japanese di uh, di a director. Yeah? And... <laughs> Japanese and a uh, lot known to be racist towards other people. <laughs> uh, need I mean, we not talk about Japanese, but not, like there's a group. Look, like there's there's a large there's a large propensity of this sort of stuff existing in Japanese culture. Mm. It's only because you happen to live in that kind of echo chamber. <laughs> Excuse me? The only reason you don't eat humans is because no one around you does. <laughs> You're just afraid that if you do, you'll be treated like a freak. Does that mean Jade <laughs> eats humans? Jade is just going full Joker. <laughs> what is this logic? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. There is such a thing, in my mind, of ethical cannibalism. Fetuses. But it requires... What? I'm sorry. What'd you say? I said fetuses. No, not that. No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> like... I think it could be ethically possible to eat another person if that person consented to being eaten beforehand or if there was a social cons uh, consent to it. Like, it's a common uh, ritual burial. I know that there's a handful of places throughout the world where historically people would actually eat their relatives um, when they died. But she really did have a joker up her sleeve. <laughs> that one bookworm. Yeah. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about some kid that goes around and just randomly eats people. Let's get back to the story, yeah. Duh. Let's move away from my fucking unhinged ramblings about what they do eat people. Hans was... Hans? Kind of meat is this? Does it matter? Do you not like it? I do. I like it so much, I want to know what kind of meat it is. The texture is like beef, it tastes like pork, and it smells like lamb, but it's not restructured meat. He's... they're eating their... he's... he's eating the sister, isn't he? Or just some other person. Yeah. Human pork. <laughs> Maybe a maybe a hamburger oh, that's seventy oh, percent pork. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so, good timing. Yeah. Why are you apologizing? It was a good joke. It was a good, good punchy joke. Maybe, maybe a hamburger that's 70% pork and 30% lamb might taste something like this. But it hasn't been ground. It's a whole piece of meat. And suddenly Cannibal Boy became more based. <laughs> Where did you get this? Am I eating your sister? Do you care more about the type of meat than how well it's cooked? Figures. You're correct, aren't you? Where's... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck, he's eating the boy. You're correct, aren't you? Where's Hans? What happened between us doesn't concern him. Don't drag him into this. Really? Do I have to spell it out for you? Answer. God, can we please? Can we please give him a name other than handsome man, handsome guy? Just guy. That guy. is a name. <laughs> yeah. Looked at the bloody chunk of meat and put his fork down with a shudder. It wouldn't be blood. It probably wouldn't be blood. Like, if it's cooked, it would be a different compound. Yeah. Anyway. Like, the red stuff that comes out of a steak when you cut it isn't blood. If I hadn't played the bad guy, you know that Sissy would have been bullied like hell. What? And now that he's all grown up, he's seducing guys. I, I like... I like behind my back. Also, your sense of taste. It's really something else. There was a guy and a girl, like, identical in every other way, and you choose the guy. Oh wow, she is getting homophobic. Why Hans? Why not me? Give me a reason. <laughs> Say something! Greta, I'm actually really curious why you're so convinced that you and Hans are identical except for your sex. <laughs> Get him! The handsome guy stood up and gripped, walked towards Greta. Then he slowly gripped Greta's shoulders. His fingertips sank deeper, deeper into Greta's flesh, causing her face to contort in pain. Oh, what the fuck is going on at this point? Oh, doppelgangers. Oh, oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So doppelganger as a concept is is fucking rounding about as a theme in this story. Uh, oh, that's actually really cool. Because, like, it was also mentioned that if your doppelganger dies, then you'll die the same way. And Greta is definitely about to get fucking offed by him. <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is that you and Hans are twins. So what? So what if we're twins? Nothing much, just that you must be. As delicious as once, I'm sure. Oh, God! What? After that, Gret and Hans went missing. Yep. What? <laughs> But they weren't dead. <laughs> but they weren't dead. They both bloomed with wild <laughs> abandoned before withering in vain, frozen in their most beautiful moments. What does that 
<laughs> what, what kind of funny statement was that? All it took was a little push for a normal person like Greta to murder someone and feed the flesh to him. Someone else. At that table, she was a cannibal boy too. Greta proved that she'll live on forever in my... Girl! Damn. That's actually kind of neat. The beautiful person is kind of messed up. Yeah. yeah. Jade. You? Me. The handsome guy. Right here. We're all the same. Humans are all birds of a feather. What? Consistent beliefs? A tragic past? None of that is necessary. Anyone can turn into an evil spirit. Okay, I guess I can kind of... Okay, I can kind of like that messaging, but it's not consistent enough to be a good way to handle it. Like, one of, one of the best aspects of Attack on Titan is that it comments on the cycle of violence in a manner that makes it clear that within the cycle, anyone can end up becoming a god or a devil. All it takes is for other people to believe it. And it depends on their actions. It depends on their environment. That's not what this is saying. This is just like, fuck it. Everyone's evil. Also, apparently... And it's fine for everyone else to be evil. Yeah. Also, apparently Jay's wearing shorts. Ah. Why do we care? <laughs> oh, man. This is taking longer than I thought it would. Yeah. We, <sighs> we might finish it tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry I spent way too much time on the one over the legend. Hope you enjoyed it. Hans was slaughtered by his doppelganger. Greta died the same way as her doppelganger. They're both worthy of being called doppelgangers, don't you think? <laughs> Bullshit, that's not what a doppelganger is. Jade only brought up that topic as a way to give away what happened. What does she want? She want does she want to blackmail me or see my or see my reaction or does she just want to prove her pet theory that everyone's insane? Should be tonight. There's yeah, How does should she be know? tonight. There's oh. on there's only the three chapters, says Book One. Yeah. Yeah, but that means we have to get to this chapter in one hour. Yeah. Which is probably so not gonna happen. Well, let's try okay, we're speed running, boys. No. <laughs> And how does she know everything about Gretchen Hands? By stalking them, spying, or maybe she hacked into their devices? Jade, why did you tell us this urban legend? Oh, come on. What people should know, right? Hey, what the hell's going on? Were you two plotting to scare me or something? Is that why you're... We're Kevin and Jade's... Oh, that makes it worse. Now we know that we're at Jade's place. <laughs> I think I understand why Jade said her eyes were sincere. They're the eyes of a writer evaluating her work. I mean, Jade herself is a jester made to dance in her script. So now James and I have told our urban legends, shouldn't you tell one too? Oh god, James is gonna be the most reasonable one. If you hear the, the story of the cannibal boy and you don't want him to come knocking, you have to tell the story of his past to someone who doesn't know yet, right? What the hell? Why? Oh, what the hell, man? Why are you asking me this now? <laughs> Voice acting. Yeah. What's so funny, right? Ridiculous. There's no past worth talking about. You civilized people eat plenty of animals. 
but you point at people who eat cats and dogs and call them savages. It makes them be sick. Oh, for fuck's sake, the player characters, the cannibal boy. Wow. Right, you were the cannibal all along. If you can't eat some, don't eat any. If you don't want to eat some, then eat them all. Is it that hard? Is it really that hard to be consistent? Oh god, it's destiny. Right, no. That's all there is to it, plain and simple. It's not that bright. You've got to leave him some- You've got to leave him some hope. Just look at James' face. Can't you see it filled with despair? How's the climax going to happen now? Do you realize what a nuisance it is when too many people find out what I like to eat? I always set an annual limit for myself, but I guess I'm going to go over this year. I guess I should reward Jade's enthusiasm with an urban legend of my own. But I don't really like to conjure things up, so I'll let James here experience it firsthand. Oh! 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 oh. oh that's it. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter I... 3 was really short. That was genuinely amazing. You did not expect that? No, that caught me completely off guard. And like it's the sort of it's the sort of revelation that's like you should have pieced it together before now. In the same way that I pieced together that the cannibal boy in the first story was actually Hans in the second story because their sil silhouette is the same. How did I not think to tr think about the other one? Oh, that's that's good. Oh. And you know what? It also included. And you know what? It also included the essay randomly telling guy, uh, getting getting offed. At the very least, it makes more sense why now. So this isn't a conversation between a whole bunch of fucked, or this isn't a, just a standard conversation between a whole bunch of really fucked people who are just normal people. This was a conversation between one really fucked person who randomly threw SA into a story, and then two really fucked people who wanted to eat the other guy. <laughs> I was surprised that Jade turned out to be a cannibal. Wait, what'd you say? I said I was surprised Jade turned out to be a cannibal. Or I don't know if Jade's a cannibal. At the very least, Jade here is an accomplice. Oh, right. uh, that would... I still... I have a lot of hang-ups. I think it could have been done better. Like, you really didn't need to do that whole first section. Yeah. Also makes sense that handsome guy is the name. It's just insert your name here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. it's like like when when Gellus Nico of Elbert was saying it, they didn't want to give it away that it's bright that was the handsome guy. Mm -hmm. So they only referred to them as handsome guy. Ah, oh, that's okay. This was a really good story. But they really should have skipped the whole essay part. From what it looks like for the next game, it doesn't contain at all the other characters. They may show up, but it's mm. it's mainly dealing with your girlfriend, uh -uh. and it's called Paranormal Evil. Okay. Yeah, like, like essay has a has a time and place in media. But it shouldn't be used like that just randomly. Like, it was literally just a lazy ploy to try to make something spooky at the start. Which, granted, I think that's the point. The James character was trying to just do a random ploy to make something spooky and was being a piece of shit. But James is a character that was written by the author of, of the story. 
they could have just not added that in. I think I know one thing SA actually does fit in with a story well that make it actually look scary and whatever is mm -hmm. Goblin Slayer. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, if you if you've seen that anime, it is not for I children. Have... I haven't seen that anime, but I've meant to, and I know there's a lot of hentai about it. Oh boy. Literally the first episode you see it. Yeah, and like I that's the thing I would say. I think SA as a thing has two major places. Either A in a story that actually intends to comment and use SA as a source of horror that is genuinely talking about the effects of SA on a person. Mm -hmm. Or B, actually, that's pretty much it. And, like, that's the thing. Like, this can be done either in hentai or outside of hentai, but I've seen it done the best in hentai, ironically. I still hold that hentai is actually a wonderful medium for horror stories. Yeah. Because, like, like it's still all sexualized. But... It, it it besides allowing for like less savory tendencies of people to be sated it also allows for more freedom in regards to how you ex express your narrative mm -hmm. however um for oh wait oh okay so after extra case my girlfriend's secrets which tells more about this second game like it's more information mm. apparently yeah. the third game is called true cannibal boy and they haven't made it yet it's coming in 2023 i see so so yeah they may not show up in the second game but they're gonna show up in the third i see anyway we might as well put the ending screen up <laughs> yeah oh overall i think I think that could have been better. Yeah. Well, Especially, like... I guess that's the thing. Like, in the context of... Anime series and in hentai... People are going to have a better capability... To go in... Mm -hmm. yeah. Knowing that something bad is there. You know what I think we should do, Hatchet? Hmm? We make a series... Where we judge uh, horror, visu uh, horror visual novels... I mean, if you want. That's basically all we're doing right now, anyway. Yeah, so out of a rating, 1 through 10. Oh, I... That's how I've been doing with the SCP games. Uh... I don't know. I, I... I... I wasn't prepared for this, bitch. <laughs> You can just send me later. I'm not making a video out of it now. Uh, I would say something... <sighs> it's... It's good in most areas. It's just that it needs a trigger warning at the start. And that entire section that would need the trigger warning, especially is kind of lazy. So I, I would probably say something to the tune of um mm -hmm. I'd say like and like that last reveal was so good. Yeah. I I wanna say seven. Seven out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, it, may, it could just done without the essay. It would have mm -hmm. been fine. <laughs> if there, if that wasn't there, like if if there was a if there was a content warning that warned people going into it, I think it would be bumped up to a seven point five. And if they just didn't have that in there, I would make it nine. But yeah. with it in there, without a uh, trigger warning, it. Meh. Let's just hope it doesn't come back in the second game. Yeah, hor horror authors need to try to be more considerate of people with triggers. 
especially when writing narratives around triggering topics because like horror is inherently going to surround triggering topics so, like, that's the thing is uh there's one thing i want to bring up right now um yeah. when the foundation d eventually in the storyline when the foundation does capture aaron back they're gonna do things to aaron to get her to talk about the location of wonder's library now i'm not gonna say what type of things because i don't think i can fully say it right now yeah <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna be. It, it makes sense in that scenario because it's a torture method to get information that the Foundation would do. Like, literally, it's been stated multiple times they would do this. Wait, it's been like. Okay, the way you're say saying this, it sounds as if your character is going to get essayed. No, 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 oh dear, oh dear god, no, no, yeah, it's just physical torture, no, 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 okay, physical torture, that you could, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but the way that you put vagueness around it, considering the subject matter of our current conversation, no, basically, it's just gonna be torture methods that, yeah, no one should ever do. Yeah, really bad torture. Then yeah, like that makes sense. It's the foundation. Yeah, so that which is why I'm gonna put multiple oh. warnings yeah. <laughs> when they get it, that chapter. Um, <laughs> because it should not be said in front of children. Yeah. Oh god, that I was about to Dear I was god, about to hold up. Do that to my own character. Deeds. That's so I know. Fun. It's it's like <laughs> But you see that's the thing, Bright. My my perceptions of like your ability to restrain yourself have been so shot at this point oh yeah i did connect to myself character about a uh, uh, character a bit in the mm -hmm. uh test log you'll you'll see when you read it when i say the test gotcha. log. Uh, i need to you should like i'm gonna pretty much immediately hop off line since yeah. he's done but yeah. you should pin that message in our DM so I remember to look at it. Got it. Any last words, Hatch, before you go? Then I'll ask Bookworm. Because you're getting off immediately. Oh, no. Like, you, oh. you can ask Bookworm first. Oh, Bookworm, last words, go. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one thing that I, I'm glad that it's not really used as much in SCP like, Universe. Like, comment, subscribe, oh. and follow Bright on YouTube and Twitch. And remember, beware of the cannibal boy within you. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to right on Twitch, and beware of the cannibal boy, cannibal boy within you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's one thing. I I'm glad it's not used in stories super a lot. It's fine, bookworm. Um, is that? essay doesn't get talked as much and if it does it gets put in really good writing to explain yeah kind of like if you think about it 6969 can be used in a sexual assault way because you can throw two people in there without consent yeah. and it's written in a way that it makes sense that's yeah. why er, real quick real quick yeah uh quiet okay there i opened mm -hmm. i i opened my browser and a video started playing oh god <laughs> in my um, head. Oh. but yeah like i i think that i think that the authors within scp have been have done a decently good job at giving some level of reasoning or like story narrative reasoning behind why something is happening oh yeah sense. like specifically like my first thought is 110 montauk oh fuck yeah that shit yeah and then you find out later that it doesn't even exist that it doesn't exist yeah <laughs> but it's still fucked food. yeah <laughs> Like, it's really fucked, but at the very least, you can understand why it exists as a thing, mm -hmm. and the horror is drawn from 
empathizing with this woman while also understanding that there's not much of a choice in there or oh, yeah. really anyone because the the procedure has to be taken place otherwise literally everyone else gets hurt mm -hmm. like it's quite literally a necessary evil taken to a much more a, a very very human empathetic manner that I think is brilliant yeah but it's also really fucked that's one of my favorite horror stories actually come from the SCP wiki because it's just how well they're written especially yeah. by the the OG writers like DJ Cactus Dr. Clef, Dr. Gears yeah like, if you don't know, those three people mainly wrote the Ouroboros cycle. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, they're really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, I forgot another one with sexual. Oh. Whoops. Hatch is gone. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. Anyway, Danger Noodles. I hope you enjoyed. Love to see you guys next time for your next next mission.